you must honestly reevaluate your life and think about if you are worth their time and if they are worth your time. You see, I've spoken to so many people in my past life and most of them I can say were nice for that at the wow. Most people I spoke to actually were people I was befriended with in real life, where we all go our own path. Some people I, well, matter of fact, I speak to no one anymore from my school. No one, as you highly likely will know. I've spoken about this several times in videos, but I want to talk about this subject. No one really asked for this video today, but we're still going to do it today on the podcast today. Anyways, it's talking about why you should value yourself above other people and why you deserve better. So let's talk about it. I hate being lonely, keeping it very honest with you guys. I have a lot of people judging me saying, oh, you, you probably got a lot of friends because you, know, you have a lot of followers, your following is massive. I don't. I really wish it was the case. I don't have any friends. It is what it is, I suppose. I also choose for that. The only friend I really have is Brennan and another person, but I have not seen that person in super duper duper long, which I hope to see that person soon again. But if not, then it is what it is. I ain't stressing about it too much. I be doing my thing, they be doing their thing. The most things in life come and go, right? As you guys know, friends come and go, honestly. School friends, that shit don't last it long, majority of the time. I had a couple of friends in high school that I grew up with. They were dope, but uh, you know, as the more you grow older, the more you start to think what is good or wrong, the more you have to start reconsidering your friends and choosing your friends wisely, picking them out wisely. That's why they say keep your enemies close and your friends far, because the actual enemies are your friends. That's why I always say, but let's revalidate. You deserve better. And the reason why I'm saying you deserve better is because you're wasting your freaking time speaking to this individual or people. <sighs> it ain't fair on you, nor is it fair on them. But it ain't fair on you. Because you do not deserve this. You shouldn't be treated like this. And I've been there so often, and I kid you guys not, man. I've been in this situation frequently enough. From my experience, I could say... It's not even frustrating, it's just a huge disappointment when you spend quality time with people, even people you don't even know in real life, your internet friends. You speak for them so long, and then it just poof, vanishes, disappears. It's like you were talking to a garden brick wall the whole time. You know that feeling that you just invest so much of your time into an individual person, but you hardly or never get that energy back from the person, yet you're still attached to that person? You've ever had that feeling? I had it with my ex-girlfriend, and I could tell you that she was a... Uh, I don't know how to explain how it was, but it was frustrating as hell. I was so blinded by her that I just let her play me. And I don't think you want that as well, right? Like, my kings and queens, we all know what a fucked up situation it is and how frustrating it is on us. Because it can have effects on us in real life. And it did on me. My school wasn't going well. And I know it sounds weird saying, oh, but it's just a girl, my man. Sometimes, even the strongest of the strongest people, they fall victim, I suppose you can say. I think we've all been there in our lives. Let me know what your experience was the first time you were so attached to someone. You just couldn't let go because you hurt yourself more, but they didn't even care. You know, you've, you know we've all had that. Come on, let's be honest here. Don't you guys dare lie to me. I've been there probably two or three times. And two times were on the internet. I know this sounds really weak. As you guys know, I am. And I'm a YouTuber. I do speak to quite a freaking, freaking amount of people. Quite a lot. Sometimes there's one person in between. And that actually I really enjoy talking to. And when I say talking, I don't mean like, hey, what's up? This and this and that. It's like frequent talking. I've had that this far. But at the end of the day, you won't become anything. You can't really become actual friends. I know internet friends. Is that even a thing? I don't know, man. I don't really like calling people friends I don't think you should just use that word friend if you speak to someone but I've in the past spoken to a lot of people on the internet people I used to FaceTime with people I used to do this and that people I used to actually make plans with they okay let's link up never happened because they always broke contact with me or I started to break contact with them see eventually you both start losing interest in each other that's just the fact if you speak for like one two weeks you just like you're attached to each other you're like speaking to each other this other this and that you tell each other how you guys are what you do after a while i guess things just become boring you just detach from stuff i've been there as well often enough i can tell you that i've been there and it does suck yeah keep it honest with you guys it does suck when you have that one person you really like talking to not because of their looks necessarily but just because of how they are i have had that often as well i kid you guys now that it just like hurt me and i'm like shit she just blocked me like damn like i've been blocked numerous amount of times for bullshit reasons i swear to god man people blocking me for nothing like for no actual good reason at all i'm like really four months we talk as friends 
Not same old, just friends. And then you just decide to block my ass. Are you freaking kidding me? I could have saved those four months of time that I put into you and something else. And that's the thing. You should know where you should put your energy in. Don't put your freaking energy into people that hardly put energy back to you. That hardly give energy to you. A bad excuse people sometimes use. Oh, I'm not super active on my social medias. Bullshit, man. I bet you, and I kid you guys not, 99% of population in society nowadays has a, has a phone. Most everyone nowadays has a phone. Snapchat, Facebook. Uh, yeah, sure, some people may not have WhatsApp. But for me, when someone says that, oh, I don't have WhatsApp, that is so hard to believe. How, how the hell are you supposed to make a Snapchat account in the first place, right? Via email or phone number. And I think most of us do via phone number. At least I have, because it's easier to recover my account if I, if I lose parcel, which happened a couple of days ago when Snapchat was down. And God damn you, I not like this Snapchat update. I guess you, go, you gotta get used to it, but regardless, right? You should know where to invest your t precious time in. And why I say precious, because time is valuable. Not only is time money, money is time. Money and time equal your time at the end of the day. You should know where you should start to put investing in time in. I've had that in the past frequently as well, man, that I put my time into the wrong people and I got negative energy back from them. I didn't get the positive energy that I was hoping for, that I was assuming for. And you shouldn't do the same. You shouldn't invest your time into people that don't invest or, or, or bother even investing their time back into you. I always say people that when you send them something long and they just reply with, okay, yeah, for sure. They, sh they hit you over the short answer. Those are mostly likely those people that don't want to talk to you. I've had that as well. God damn, I know. When I send multiple messages, let's say three, four snap videos saying how your day's been this and they say, oh good. And they don't even ask how you are. Is it really worth it? I know some people are just unintentionally like that. They don't mean it. Trust me, from my experience, I can say most people that say these things are not interested in speaking to you. And that's totally fine. But then what I dislike about people that do that is, even though I don't know them personally, I shouldn't be able to judge them, but I, I can. That's the internet, you can judge and you're allowed to judge people in your pain. Then what's the point of speaking to people, hanging them onto a cliff with a rope attached to them, hanging them 50-50% off the cliff? You have every chance to drop them or, or just keep them. I hate people that just keep you in line as you're a fucking dog. God damn, I hate people that do that, that, that think you're a dog and you can just be attached to a rope the whole time or walk, 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 walk around in circles. People like that, I personally don't like. I hate when people try to attach me and keep lying to me that they say oh i enjoy talking to you just be honest to me you don't enjoy talking to me you're just probably only saying this because you have no one else to talk to and that's totally fine i keep an answer with you guys i speak to a lot of people do not get it wrong but not with everyone i speak to i have full-blown conversations most people i just talk to i send snaps streaks this and this and that they interact with me and also one thing as well if you're always the person who is starting up the conversation and they never have or don't ever hit you up what are you talking to them for? Like I said, if you, I'm talking to you about you, this individual who's watching me through this screen right now, if you are the only one that ever hits them up first, they never hit you up, they never send you a message, they never ask you how you're doing, but you are always the one that is sending the message, and they are receiving it, and they only hit you up because they've received the message, you're wasting your time. That's just how I see it as. Sometimes people don't like talking, and that's totally cool, that's totally fine. But just be honest to the other person. Don't give them false hope, potentially. Or don't make them feel like they are worth it when they're not. People that do that, I can't stand personally. Like, don't get it wrong, right? I love talking to people. I do, it may not sound like that. I'm just trying to motivate you into thinking of what the better choice is for you. Because at the end of the day, you must become and feel happy. You mustn't feel attached to someone who doesn't want to talk to you. And I've had this in the past as well. I hate it. I swear to God, I hate these kind of things. Sometimes situations happen. Yes, even as an influencer, I guess you could say I'm a simp. Which, yeah, I mean, I guess so. It depends. <laughs> I am a simp. Well, I am, the, I am the king. I'm not the virgin king anymore. I am the king, you know? But besides that, invest your energy into people that want to give back to you. People that don't want to put energy back to you. They are just not worth it, I find. And these people I do block as well. Uh, I kid you guys not. People that hit me up only because it's beneficial to them. People that only hit me up because they are bored after not speaking to me for months. Maybe upon a year and a half, two years. People I used to know from school. I'm like, wow. Right, right, right. So I guess it's true. You don't have time to link up. You have it so busy in your life. You have this and this and this gut going, yet you want to keep contact with me all through WhatsApp, but you don't even bother. You live 30, 40 minutes away from me with the public transportation, yet it's too much time and too much effort to put in to just meet me up in real life. 
That's why I have no contact with anyone from school anymore. People I used to say, yeah, sure, we'll keep contact with each other. Yeah, I'm sorry, no possibility. It doesn't feel realistic. I don't like speaking to people that don't want to hit me up and say, yo, let's go uh, grab some coffee, let's go to the cinema potentially. I know some parts of life you must grow up, but for God's sakes, if you have people that are like that, that never want to meet with you, that never want to chill out with you, yet they are always on the freaking phone texting you, you're wasting your goddamn time. Honestly, I don't give a damn if it's your crush. If he or she don't want to see or do stuff with you in real life, they are not your friends. Sorry, they just aren't. There's a difference with internet friends and people you know in real life that have your phone number. There's a huge difference. I have those people as well in my class. They always say, yeah, we sure keep contact. I'm like, I have a show. Uh, I ask them always, you want to do something soon? I say, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, we go soon. A year passes by. I have fuck off from them anymore. You know why? Because I wasn't important in their life. And that's totally cool. That's totally fine by me. I respect your decision. But don't you dare have the audacity to hit my freaking phone up and say goddamn stuff to me. Because that just pisses me off. If you don't want to link up with me, totally cool. I respect your decision. But then please also respect my decision of me not answering you back. Because I have also blatantly ignored people. I'm like, well, I don't give a damn, goddamn. You never hit me up. It's only hitting me up when it's beneficial to you or when you want or need something. I've had people that do that as well often, trust me. I've had to cut off a lot of people that also wanted to hit me up because of something they needed or wanted of me. I don't do these kind of things. I don't give handouts. I don't give money to people. I've had people ask me money as well. Yes, I am a loner indeed. Quite right. I guess it is what it is. Being alone is better than having a lot of people that pretend to be my friend. Trust me. You don't want these kind of things. High school for me was, to be quite frankly honest with you, probably the worst when it came to friends because friends don't talk about you behind your back. I've done it as so well, don't get it wrong. But I've only sp spoken about what I felt like. Yeah, I feel like he or she's just acting a bit weird recently, you know, this and this and that. But then I always also confront them and say, listen, I just feel like you've been acting weird recently, you know. And then they get pissed off for you because you keep it real and honest. And for sure, if you don't want to hear the truth, that's cool. But know what you're worth. Stop investing and putting time into those people that don't give back to you. Think about it like that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll check you tomorrow with a uh, new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.